Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, finally. Let's get out of um, Shadow Play. All right, hello there. <laughs> um, we have um. This was a bit of a pain to kind of get set up, like, uh, welcome to the stream, um... So, basic, basically, I generally use OBS as my main kind of thing for the set, for setting up games, because you can easily fiddle with overlays and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of all built into the system. For some reason, and I still haven't quite grasped why, um, you can't do that with, um, Forza Horizon 4. It doesn't like the game. It, I don't. I don't know what it is. So we are in uh, GeForce Experience, which is based on Shadow Play, which is a very good capture thing. Admittedly, very small screen I have. Right. Um, I will warn you now. There's going to be some setting adjustments. So uh, bear with me. This might look a bit weird for a little bit. Um, also, I have kind of, I've got a new um, audio arrangement um, in the fact that you can actually hear me this time. Um, I've got a pop filter, so hopefully no more plosive issues. And I've also set the audio so you can hear me when in the past it was kind of, I was kind of buried down the mix. Uh, that was something I kind of noticed and it was kind of annoying. And I managed to, I might, it managed to happen for three Need for Speed the Run streams in a row, so hopefully it won't happen the next time I do a game. Right, so today we are going to go through as many parts of Season Mode as we can. So basically, Season Mode in Forza Horizon is a weekly thing. There's one every, there's um, a set of challenges every week, one for each of the seasons. Uh, they consist of a weekly Forza Sun challenge, um, which is you can easily you can easily do a lot of this stuff in a night, like I usually do, and that's why I'm doing this stream. Um, so it consists of a few different things. Uh, there is the weekly Forza Sun, which is you go through four chapters, and I'm doing air quotes, of stuff. Uh, you've got The Trial, which is a multiplayer team game, which is actually really fun. If we can get a game, then we'll get then we'll definitely run that, although I don't know how bad the internet's going to do being with streaming. Uh, there is Seasonal Playground, which is a bit of a pain. That'll probably be the last thing I do, just because um, Seasonal Playground... There is a problem with the multiplayer in Forza Horizon in that basically a lot of people are going to basically jump between games to find ones that can win easily because there's no penalty for dropping out. So what people do is they go into a game, if they lose they drop out, which usually means an instant win for the other team and um, you you, know, you get the rewards that way. You, you, like, as long as you are winning and participate you, like, and you're in the stream when it ends that you get the rewards, you don't necessarily have to have all the things sorted. Um, all the you don't have to necessarily win the like three rounds out of five or three rounds out of seven or what four rounds out of seven or whatever however it's set up um other than that you have three season events which are three which are three race championships uh, based on different themes so it's got this one which is to win the of the Salika. it will be i presume japanese cars of uh, b rank uh, every car is ranked from um d i believe is it d yeah d to s to X, but there's like there's it's like uh, D C B A S one S two X, so uh, and these are B, so these are ending up to seven hundred. Uh, so we got this one, which is classic rallies. Um, God, not a lot of not a lot of choice. Oh, these are D rank, that's why. Um, and then this one, which is I believe cross country. Um, 
I've got quite a few guns. I played this game a lot, like you can probably tell from the money I have, like that I have a embarrassing amount of hours on it. Uh, finally there are the PR stunts which are um, basically you have to go to a specific um, speed trap which is the single uh, camera, speed zone which is the two, two cameras, it's like average speed, and then the danger zone which is that one, uh, or is it danger sign? Yeah, danger sign sorry even says, um, which is a jump and you have to make it. Uh, and that should be that. And then you have like um, four, like a set of seven day challenges. We, obviously, we can't do all of them because only one is active. But we can definitely, we will guarantee to do at least that one. Right. So we need an, a rally monster Welcome car. Welcome back, David. So well, you're, supposed, you're supposed to know my name now. Uh, let's go into. Let's go into our cars. We have a lot of cars, so hopefully we'll be able to find a rally monster. Um, so yes, we have Audi Sport, Quattro, RS200, Civic Coupe. I'm going to try one we haven't actually done yet. Uh, not the RS200 because we've got two of them. Uh, yeah, we've got them. We, we do actually have five, um, fours, three, four, five um, Forza Edition um, Renault 5s. Um, and we've done, the, done it in the 205. I think we've done it in... I, I like kind of um, picking a new car because it's something we can mod. Let's go for the Civic Coupe GRC, which I think is a more recent like rally championship. I, uh, I think it's up there. I think it's just, I think it's still the Citroen DS3, which it runs dominant. I, I I haven't followed Royal Rally since um, like the early 2000s, so forgive me if I don't know a lot. So when you get a car, you can do a bunch of things with it. Uh, upgrades and tuning is what we'll probably start with. Although there won't be a lot to tune. We'll just basically, just have. Brakes we can customize. Uh, we can edit the tr uh, we can edit the track even, um, and obviously each thing increases not only the scores but it also increases the um, the overall score of the thing, uh, the overall score of the car itself. So we can get some really nice stuff potentially. Um, let's try to find one that actually gives a benefit rather than a loss. Go for those weird butterfly ones, they look quite good. Increasing track, I don't get why you'd want to do that. Cause, but uh, to be honest, I mostly go by stats when I'm doing these tuning, so there will be people who actually build it based on performance and like the things you're meant to build it on, so you never know. Let's go for neither of them, because oddly enough, they actually make the car less perform, they, they perform worse. Uh, you can you can do four on engine swaps in most Forza Epic games. There isn't really a point because most of the, the engines you can pick are worse. Like this one's the Turbo Rally. Like you'd only ever do this if you wanted to have like authentic uh, WRC spec stuff. It's it's quite interesting, but like not, but not what we're kind of going for here. Um, So we will stick with that for now. That's quite disappointing. I thought there'd be more stuff we could customize because um, that's quite fun. But don't worry, we're going to get to the kind of fun, crazy bit because you may have noticed a lot of my the cars in my garage when I scroll past there quickly had very interesting designs. And the reason for that is that it, Forza's gimmick is that every car can have a unique design. So you got the <laughs> Nier Automata there. Uh, you got some neon ones. Um, you you can kind of pick between different criteria. You know what? I'm gonna, I love Neo Automata, so we're going to go for that. Um, right, so apply that to the car. Right, we. This is going to be a bit of a ramshackle test just because we, I'm going to be uh, playing about with settings and seeing. Because the, ga the game will automatically optimize stuff, and I don't like how it does it, so we'll probably will fix stuff like that. Uh, you can buy other cars, but. Even though I have so much money, like generally, like you get most of your cars through uh, a few of the other gimmicks. Uh, one of which is doing season challenges. Okay, that one's quite alright. Um, the other one is through um, the um, oh, come on, what they call it? Uh, wheel spin, which is let's see what do we have. Oh, it actually kept my specs. That's good. Usually, it automatically changes it to 4K, which I would like in any game other than this, uh, because you can generally get. I can generally 4K makes this game run a lot worse for the specs I have. Like the computer I'm running can just about run uh, 4K, but it can't run it very well. Right, so we're getting. So we're gonna get into the. Um, 
the wheel spins and the super wheel spins. This was gonna be a pay to win element, but thankfully you don't actually buy these. You just kind of get you get you get them through season challenges and things like that. Nothing that great, uh, but we also have two wheel spins from. You get so many of the basic wheel spins just from playing the game that can you can get some cool stuff. Oh, good, two <laughs> thousand. Um, right, so. Okay, so that's that. Let us see what the next challenge is. We've got to get 20 Ultimate Drift or Idris skills. Uh, that's going to be tricky, and that's going to take a while. Uh, but around Monster Loot Spaces, we should do stars. Now, the one problem I have with the Force of the stories is that you can't do them... You have to do them in order. That could have done better. Uh, <laughs> You have to do it in order, so I couldn't say do the drift skills in a drift race, and I couldn't, or, or when I do speed turn. So I kind of just have to. Um, essentially, yeah, what I have to do is grind uh, drifts, which is about as fun as it sounds. Uh, so we're going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Thank for these these challenges aren't. That difficult. Uh, although sadly, because it's rally monsters, we can't use, we can't do this towards our season. We can't actually just run a season and then have that count. So that, that's a bit of a shame. That. <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, this game has uh, stunts. As you can probably tell by me failing at them. Um, I'd say the game, the best game to compare this to would probably be um, the Burnout Paradise series, but with more sim-ish racing controls. Uh, so you have like a load of events, you have a load of like um, creative kind of interesting kind of uh, things you can do. But you don't, but like, um, it's mostly open world. But there is a, the, I love the actual, the, the, the open world of 4 to 4. Like I played 3 and I had a good, that had a good round, but this one's like really, really good. There's another Right, so we're going to go towards an, an actual drift zone. You think we'd do well because you know it's a sound without in mind. Not quite. That's not ultimate. Oh, 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 check it, check it, check it. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah, driving through hedges does not give you any skill towards drift zones, and I'm not great at, at drifting. As you can tell, I'm nowhere near three stars in that one. It's like the last, like, I've beaten most stuff in the game, but, like, Drift Zones is kind of one I haven't. Uh, mostly because, like, the only car I have that's really spec for drifting is the 8.6 from Initial D. Uh, which is, like, one of my favourite drifting cars, because you, you can make it just go insane, and then just, like, I don't know, go insane, and then, like, race cars, which are, like, because it's, like, an S1 car, like, you end up racing, like, Lamborghinis and hypercars and stuff. Uh, and so you can do that while like this is the JJ or whatever. Um, we don't have music on this, partly for copyright reasons, mostly because my, the the game the, the Need for Speed Run stuff got claimed, but mostly because I hate the soundtrack in this game. It's the one weakness is the soundtrack, other than the uh, classical music stuff, is terrible. Uh, and yeah, we have a max speed of 140 because we are a because we are a WRC car and. They're meant to go 140 miles now sideways, not really be drive, driven on main roads like we're, we're doing. Ooh, oh, 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 that could have better. So yeah, so there's a lot of um, skills you can do. There's a lot, there's a load of skills. There's like, hi, uh, there's one for getting going really fast, there's near misses. No oncoming though, and so it's not like, um, Burnout, where you can get like massive, massive uh, change and skill changes by um, just by doing oncoming. Instead, the kind of give it to getting very long with the skill changes just to do this, and then you get like loads of rated scores. Um, and generally, and you'll probably get like stuff like landscaping or um, bin man or something like that. Like there's all loads of creative versions of the um, the skill score. Uh, right, so we're in a speed zone, but not really. We've already failed it, we're not even really trying. Uh, speed zones are average speed cameras basically. You go from one you go from one little section of track to another and you have to train at the, the, the fastest speed possible. Uh, 
Egret. What's that Egret? We should. It'll tell us at the bottom of the screen when we get it. Uh, I'm miss that. The world's copy to you. It's not a test one, is it? This game, I believe, does have in game advertisements. I don't remember if it's actually been turned on it. Last time, I, last time I played, it had some like it had the, the, the kind of comedy parody um, stuff it usually does. This is kind of going to be an interesting one because most of the games I play either with people or on stream are games I'm not very good at. Finally, right. So we got our. Oh, oh no, that's oh okay. We okay. Sorry, we did the um, the Force of Thon challenge. My bad. Oh, there is a force on shop as well, which where you, you get points you can spend towards them. As you can see, I haven't really spent a lot of them. I originally thought this was going to be like a microtransaction currency, but it really isn't, like, you. Yeah. As long as you do season mode stuff, you're kind of okay. Also, I should kind of have a disclaimer. I am currently drinking some uh, rum and some very delicious um, Victor remakes. Do not dry, drink and drive. That is a very obvious thing you should not be doing. Well, you really should be driving anyway, because it's a lockdown, but, you know... You've got to... I, I've got to have a disclaimer. Ah! That could have gone better. Oh, okay. This is this is that was that was a lucky error on my part. See, the the game has different settings for different damage uh, things, and because I put uh, simulation damage on as a setting, because you get more points if you win a race with it. I, my car now goes about four inches a map an hour. Uh, but if you go, if you tell, if you either fast travel or go to any of your homes, um, it will get fixed. And thankfully, we crashed right near one of my houses. Uh, go for a bit of a drink break there. Um, right, there we go. Hmm, two viewers. Hello, two viewers. Uh, one probably is me, actually, to be fair. Uh, hello, viewer, that isn't a glitch. Um, I, I, hope you're, I hope you're enjoying wreckage. Awesome wreckage. Yeah, that, that's what the stream's going to be all about. Awesome wreckage. Um, feel free to say hi in the comments and things like that. There won't be... Obviously, obviously there isn't that many deals, so there won't, it, will, it will just be chatting to me, but... Hey! I, I am a huge fan of kind of racing games. Like that's, I think if I have a specialty, because I, I tend to do, I tend to play a variety of games. Like, but if I say there's a specialty of games I'm actually good at, it's racing games. I'm, it's one of the few things I am better than average at. Uh, although, if we if we do run a trial later, you're probably I'm probably going to show myself up. Yeah, so this is like the festival effect. The gimmick of this game is that you have basically they're running a festival in a very weird part of England, which is between Dermot Water and Edinburgh. Uh, which Dermot Water is like at the other side of the country. And it's, it's kind of like it's the Lake District, so it's like nowhere near Edinburgh um, for anyone not from the UK or who doesn't have a map. But it's, it's meant to be symbolic, obviously. Like a lot of these maps, they're meant to be like a best of like a montage of like great environments and stuff like that and I think some of the, the, the uh, roads and stuff are meant to evoke um, particular like racetracks and things which is a cool touch um, like I know there's one called Cops and things like that so um, yeah, I'm thinking that's definitely yeah. I mean part of what makes the drifting kind of tricky is this game does have relatively simulation based control so uh, if you ever played like Grid or um, Project Cars or anything like that, drifting isn't that easy. It's not like um, any of the more modern Need for Speed games where drifting is kind of automatic. Like it almost puts you in like a drift mode, which I always love. Like, like it makes it really fun. Like um, Dangerous Driving does that too, which is a, a game I, I will never shut up about. I think I talked. I think I mentioned it like some like 20, 30 times when I played uh, Need for Speed The Run. I um, yeah, which I. Which is, should be available in the um, past recordings thing. I've got it on YouTube as well. Uh, unfortunately, the audio kind of messed up, so um, my dulcet tones are completely ignored in the first broadcast, and 
sorry, barely audible in the, in the second ones. But to be honest, like, I fixed my setup a bit. I have a, a pop filter now, I have a stand, I have, um, I have the microphone a little bit closer to me, and, you know, that, that probably helps. Well, at least I hope it does. It sounded better in my tests, at least. <laughs> Drift into a tree as you were. Right. Six more. Don't worry, we will get to we will get to gameplay, I promise. Um we, we will get to gameplay that isn't just me like drifting through the countryside. It I, I think the problem I have is a very loud car. Um what I tend to do when I play this on my own is I tend to do all the, all the um, challenges in a specific order. So I try and get these out of the way, then I do, then I tend to do trial if there's enough plays for a trial, and then I do uh, the races, and well, I, sometimes I do playgrounds, um, and then I do uh, the, se the season mode championships, and then I finally I end with the, um, oh, what's it called? Yeah, then, then I end with the... Oh, public I, I think it was PR stunts, that's it. I was, I, it was on the tip of my tongue there. I was thinking like, how could I forget that? Like, we literally had like a screen where I went over for like 20 minutes. Well, about a minute. It wasn't really 20, I hope. Okay, that felt awesome. This is actually a really good drifting card. Mostly because it's not very fast, but it's like really... Very, it's very much a min-max car, and like it's not the quickest car in the world, but it's really quick going round corners. So yeah, we're at max speed 140, which is like... You know, you can get... You can get you know, relatively reasonable production cars if you do 140. Oh, drift into the river! Should be too many left now. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that might be the ultimate as well if I hadn't crashed. Yes, obviously hitting things kills your streak. The other thing that kills it as well is uh, is the rewind, which is on Y, and you'll probably see a lot of because I'm not very good at this video game. <laughs> you know, well, I'm. I'm I'm okay with it sometimes, and other times I'm kind of, I have really, I'm just really out of it, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping for good, a good one today. Other than that flip, I haven't really had any catastrophes, so maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see, maybe we'll see some skill today. Um, next time I stream, we'll, I'm probably going to play something really completely different, like I'm, I'm planning on playing a game from the old bargain bins of Xbox Live by the name of Bullet Switch, which I actually remember. But I must remember it as a gas, as a um, petrol station exploding simulator. So um, I don't really have very large memories of it. I just remember the box being awesome though. Somehow the come even though I hit the walls twice, I somehow kept my combo there. Um, the game's a bit weird with how, what things will cancel. It usually has to be a, a definite enough impact. Yes. That's... Oh, that's bad. Your destination. Oh, and of course we have Anna, who is the um, the bane of my life, basically. Uh, ah, here we go. Right, so we're gonna find speed zones, which is actually something we just passed. Uh, Fifteen stars. We're not gonna get that many stars, honestly, because um, our max speed is so slow. But we will do our best. Oh, there we go. Right. 
Uh, Anna is the bane of our life because if you take a single shortcut, she will say the very same line, the line that has been etched into my brain. Turn around when it is safe to do so. And you'll hear that a lot, even though you are clearly going the right way. Usually, usually it happens when you go. Turn sharp left. Yeah, shut up. Um, usually it happens whenever you uh, try and go as the crow flies. Turn sharp left. Although sometimes there is kind of justifications for that. No, we'll, we'll go through the music choices. Got the pulse, which is rock, I think. A lot of. Time is, is, I believe, um, classical music, so hopefully um, we won't get as many copyright claims on that. Not that I'm really that fussed about copyright. It's mostly just because sometimes, sometimes that video, that, that means videos don't get seen. But honestly, like I'm, you know, I don't expect a lot of people. You know, I, 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 I'm happy for anyone who watches. Basically, that's kind of where, I, where I'm at. Like I'm still. Literally still building my um, my Twitch stream. Like I'm still like I still have an avatar yet. I am gonna get one. I've got some. I've been designing some stuff, so uh, that'll probably be something I do tomorrow. Actually, got a big creative day actually uh, happening tomorrow. Uh, various projects are kind of uh, coming to fruition. Uh, push through. Two stars. Ideally, a dirt track speed trap. And around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, see that that's what you get a lot. Route. Oh yeah, recalculating route. That's the other annoying thing she says. Like, like, I get it. I'm going the wrong. You know, I literally have just selected. Just like don't, don't be a dick about it. But I suppose that's a sat nav's job, isn't it? To kind of bully you into going the right direction. This is Timeless FM, ladies and gentlemen, and that was a showcase event. I actually had an RAF air show on my itinerary for this day. 400 meters. So thank Turn you left. Horizon for crossing that off. Now, if you could just do something with Westminster Abbey, Loch Ness, and the Stanley. Good God. I, I didn't. I didn't. I, sorry, I was just kind of stunned there. I, I, I didn't realize it was DJs on these fucking. Oh, oh, come on. Which, on these actual, um... oh god, that, that's ridiculous. Yeah, the Burnout Paradise kind of, um, I just continue, you've got DJ Atomica up in this. That could have gone better. Uh, where's, where's a good speed zone from here? You know what? Yeah, we'll get that one. 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Oh, that, wait, that's Halo! Yeah, that's <laughs> bloody hell. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's one I remember all too well. Horizon Skill Song. Timeless FM plays music and oh. drivers get double skills or something. I'm not sure, ladies and gentlemen. I usually hide under the table for these, so <clears throat> under the table I go. Oh, right. So skills, skill songs are kind of an interesting, weird gimmick. Basically, it just means while the song's playing, and because it's both sides, a very long song, you get you get double points. Um, and skill points you can use to upgrade cards, that usually just gives you more points and more influence, and influence gives you uh, wheel spins which get you more cards. Like, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a weird ecosystem like that. Oh, it just, oh, it just popped. 
Oh, sorry, I was kind of lost in that. Oh, and um, right on cue, here comes um, Anna to completely ruin that. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was too busy drifting, I forgot we are in the speed zone. Um, it's usually you get like, the uh, the speed camera flash is, what is the kind of sign you know you're in. And obviously the menu at the bottom, but... I mean, who, who, who has time to pay attention to, like, think your iconography on the screen or anything? Um, still, so I'm just taking the other stuff that's good. You can, one of the main things to actually upgrade on your car is to increase the maximum skill multiplier. Because uh, you can get up to five times, and there are some season challenges that require you to get a max skill score. Although this isn't one of them. This just needs, um, I believe, it's three dirt racing events. Which, yeah, finally, we actually get to some racing in the racing game. Yeah. Oh, next skill zone. Yeah, same way, anyway. Yeah. It's all going wrong! Actum, help! Help! Beware. So, um... I suppose the other game to compare this to in terms of its always online nature is, um... Although you can play, you can, you can actually play it offline. I think you can even play it offline and do season mode stuff, you just can't play multiplayer game. Um... And that is the uh, the persistent players. I think there's up to 64. They're all ghosts, so you can't like ruin someone's day unless you actually invite them into a adventure group. I think it is. Um, and, and I don't really have any other like friends who play this game, so I, I, I tend to be essentially just muggins here. And I can't really tell if like because some of my Xbox Live friends are. Uh, what they call driver tires in the game. I don't know whether they, they actually exist or they, they've just literally pulled the names from our friends list. I think one has played the game, I don't know about the other one. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Or do something irresponsible, there we go. Right, and that gets us into the speed zone itself. I think we did this actually did do the speed zone before but in reverse when we were drifting like mad. Actually no we didn't no we we, we actually fell off the track and failed it. Yeah, if you go backwards or if you go outside the boundary too far, you fail. Basically, that's that's all there is to it. You have arrived at your destination. That's another one done. Um, I'm really hoping for a dirt track one. Uh, look at that get to the Shut up! I know what I'm doing, I think. I know, I know everything suggests otherwise, but I swear I know what I'm doing. There we go. Eventually, he does kind of figure out the route you're trying to take. I don't think I actually have any score on this um, drift zone. Because it's a little bit of a pain. Um, and I'm... I still haven't quite figured out the drifting mechanics. Like in order to get like really big points, like it's it's another game that's kind of designed with drifting in mind, which you know makes it more satisfying when you do actually succeed, but it does also mean you get a lot of stuff like this where you're an idiot and fail. Fake PB. Is that gonna be a star? Yeah. Oh yes. Actually got a Ah, what's them live? Don't like them. They're quite boring. Oh, I got a car out of that. Um, Pools and Live are kind of dull, uh, honestly. Basically, you kind of you go to an area with a bunch of other players and do scores, and then you get like uh, full run points for it. But as you can see, I'm not short of them. Um, I kind of save them waiting for like stuff I wanted to, to arrive, but didn't actually see any. Um, the annoying thing about it is, is that if you accidentally hit X, then it will, it will reset your uh, your route to a portal event. And also, if you go into a portal while it's active, it won't go away for ages. That like, you can drive like the other side of the map and it'll still be there. Oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I'm very nearly at the next speed zone.
Incidentally, Speed Zone is, I believe, the name of the Cannonball Run 3. Um, which, for some reason, got renamed Speed Zone. I guess, I guess at that time, the uh, Cannonball Run name wasn't very popular. I only mention that because, like, kind of, like, you know, we, we played a game which is essentially the Cannonball Run, but, like, serious, so... You know, there's a, there's a, it, it's some of... It's kind of a funny comparison, though. I think, I think the only thing cool thing about that song... Uh, no, sorry. The only cool thing about that film is that it has the song Driving, which is actually quite good. There is a train. Yes, you can race it. Yes, you can be hit by it. Ooh, another one. Ah. Oh, no, 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 that's bad, that's bad. That, yeah. Don't like that, don't want that. Arrived at your destination. Turn around when it's safe. Um, how many speed zones do we need? Oh, we only need one left, so good, that's good. So we can find, we can get past this and then we'll get onto some dirt racing. Uh, I will just, I'm, I will actually double check what races, because so, there's two different types of dirt racing events. Um, and there are, I think it's Scramble, I think it is, which is circuit races, and then there's, um, uh, I can't remember dirt racing. But basically, they are the trails, I think it is. The, yeah, dirt trails, which are like uh, point to point, like rally stages, basically. There are four types of races, although really it's two different types, kind of to different extremes. So, there is um, road racing, which is, as it sounds, it's, it's, it's you know, road courses, road. Um, well, either point to point or um, Hope you all enjoy your not point to point. What's it? Now, Don Thompson needs a lie down before we attempt that again. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. So that yeah, so there's road racing. There is a street scene, which is basically road racing, but at night. Ooh. Say that. Oh, I know the song. You probably know it, but you know it under a different name. If you, if, at least if you live in Europe. And with, and with different English lyrics. Well, English, French, and English German lyrics. The chop chops! You have arrived at your destination. So that should be that mission completed. What? So now we just need to find dirt racing. Oh, any any dirt racing event. So let's find the nearest one. Hallam Farm Scramble, you'll do. I generally prefer the actual point to point ones, but this is nearby, so we go for it. You have arrived at your destination. So low. So yeah. So you have. You can create levels. Uh, you can pick different cars. You. There is a com there is a very heavy community element, although there isn't actually. Oh, that's because I haven't made any. So let's just go for that. Fantastic. I'll change this up. I do apologise for that. It was in the middle of the bit you might recognise. Um, Usually because it's like sponsored by Continental Tires or something like that. Anyway, we got a race. Um, I didn't change my settings, so I don't actually know what difficulty I'm on. I believe it might, it's either Expert or Unbeatable. I think it might be... No, it's either... Ex I think it's Expert. I think I, I went down like a bunch of difficulties because I kept losing, so... Um, I can win some races on Unbeatable, but that depends on my car. Generally, I can win them if I pick like one of my like supercars. I have like um, a selection of cars I use for like... Um, the, the seasonal PR stunt, so we'll see anyway. Yeah, don't hit the fat metro, don't hit the fat metro, yes. Right, so that, is that the Lego Mini or yes yeah, the Lego Mini I think. And in front of that I've used a yester? Is that a focus? 
You're never quite tough on the eye. We get three wide, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is a full on rally cross uh, circuit. Um, Yeah, I think I think we're on expert. We might be as low as highly skilled, but I'm probably doubting that. I think I, I think I'm, I'm playing better. Uh, yeah, this game has like a load of difficulties. I think it goes from beginner. I think it's like beginner normal. Uh, I, I think it's beginner normal, advanced, highly skilled, expert, pro, and unbeatable. Uh, on the trial, which is the, which is like the multiplayer season uh, playlist, you only ever play uh, unbeatable drivers. But generally, you're put, you're, there's six of you, and the idea is that if enough of you overtake, then it doesn't matter if you don't win the race necessarily, you can still win as a team. Or if enough of your players drop out and you end up in the middle of the pack, which, ha which has happened to me. Like, I was the only one left once, and I managed to win just by, like, being four. No, actually, no, I was third. I was third. And then, because not enough people had overtaken me, I, I, I got the, the point total. It's weird. Uh, co-op championship, co-op races are kind of like that. Uh, playground is really old. That's that's kind of like I think it's like, it's like King of the Hill, Catch the Flag. Um, it's like it's like um, it's get the flight to the opposing scoring zone. So it's more it's more like um, dungeons, like like British Bulldog, I guess. Than anything, um, and if you get tighter than the flag, um, the zombies as well. Um, you, you, you're either a zombie or survivor, tag the survivors, and then there's crowns, which is um, king. I can't remember what you call it, it's king something or other, and that's the best one because that's where basically there's two. It's, if you have full teams, it's two kit. You have two kings. You have to take a crown from another driver. Okay, so we'll spend our that car, so I'll sell it. I always had to keep keep like really good cars, if I like more than one of the really good cars. Um, right, so I kind of want I kind of don't want another scramble. I want a full stage. Uh, Power trail, I think. See, it's a very, as you can see, it is a really pretty game. And, I am glad it seems to be surviving the streaming process, although that might be just be a credit to Shadowplay. Um, Shadowplay is like a really, really, really efficient broadcaster. I don't... Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be okay, but I can't quite tell. Go, go, go. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think we're gonna go as the crow fly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it, 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 crashes make me laugh, and so. Uh, and, you did, and even though like, this game has very limited, a very limited damage model, it is hilarious. Like the the effects of damage is actually quite good, but like it doesn't have like full. It's not soft body physics, so there's a lot of fun fun. Vivaldi. Ooh, that's Vivaldi Spring. I do, I, 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 do, I, I do love classical music, but I often forget what songs are what. Uh, yeah, okay, th this one's kind of is impossible to forget. Although, weirdly enough, my main memories of this song are actually Burn Out Paradise. I remember doing like some of the like the higher ranked stunt challenges in that game, because I did, I think I put it in the game. Um, a long, long, long time ago. And, um... Air on the G string played when I was doing one of the hardest challenges, and I kept re it kept restarting and restarting and restarting. So I just it just makes me think of madness and insanity and pain and um, the futility of trying to get some of those bloody flips. <laughs> but but our paradise is tremendous. I don't think they made a criterion. I don't think they made a game anywhere near that good since. I think 
Hot Pursuit, uh, not Hot Pursuit, Hot Pursuit was good. Most Wanted in 2012 come very close, and then after that they've kind of been very mediocre. I kind of want to try it, though. Like, I'm, I'm, all, I'm always, after Rivals, I'm just like, no, no, don't, don't do that to yourself, don't do that to yourself. Like, Yo, the crew is a better game for God's sake, let alone, you know, Forza 4, Horizon 4. Yo, the, the thing is, the Criterion Need Speed games went downhill around the same time Forza Horizon came out, which basically just destroyed those games in every conceivable way. They had more cars, they had more levels, they had bigger um, worlds, they had more tracks, they had better better driving physics, because the Forza games were way better. Um, and, they have, and they also had the rewind system, so... You know, if you're a filthy casual like me, you could um, you could still win a lot of the stages. Uh, yeah, Way this, but this Aero Latif thing is kind of a song I, I do get very melancholic about because it's very, it's just such a beautiful uh, piece. Not that I'm like pretentious in it or anything, like. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh have, I, have I fucked it up? Have I fucked it up? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Golden Eagle LX is not going to beat me. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna go for that's a cross country anyway, so I don't really count. Uh, where is the nearest dirt? No, that one again. Lake has fallen around go for that. when it is safe to do so. Let's push forward for the glory of Forza Kind. Of course, for a bit of irony, we didn't have to pass the speed zone on the way. I believe... Oh yeah, there is another mode as well, the Eliminator, which I believe is uh, Forza Battle Royale. I've never played it. Uh, it seems very silly. I might I might do a stream of Eliminator at some point. Because I don't quite get how it works. Like, I think you like you tag people and you steal their cars or something. But it doesn't like it, make it much sense to me. Uh, Don Thompson here on Timeless FM. Now I've been given this card, ladies and gentlemen, for a new. Yeah, business. this is totally I the developer, by the way, <laughs> or something like. Festival. Yes, I am, Mister Pretension. I. It appears they kidnap your car, do all sorts of crazy things under the hood, and then hoon around in it a bit before they give it back. Who on earth would want to do that? Who on earth would want to work for these people? And of course, a classic from from uh, probably one of the first pieces of video game music I ever heard actually was in the Hall of the Mountain King. Uh, because one of the first games I ever watched was my brother play um, Frontier Elite 2. Really groundbreaking moment for him. I was like three, and it was just like there is a universe on a floppy disk. That was like how amazing a moment it was. Like I was so. It, Spell by me. Eight, seven, Beethoven's eight. I, I apologize. I don't. I'm very. I'm kind of a bit dumb when it comes to Beethoven's symphonies. Like I know, I know, I know the fifth, I know the seven, like the, the obvious ones, and that's about it, really. So this will be interesting. I, I, I probably have heard it. Like I think that's the thing. Like if you consume pop culture, eventually you will you will listen to a lot of things you don't realize. It's kind of like um, you know, if you watch a lot of memes, you'll listen to a lot of music you didn't expect, and you'll you'll be familiar with songs you never knew you knew. Like um, like if you heard the JoJo meme, then you know you've heard you've heard yes. Probably yes is best song actually. Roundabout. Although I'm 
kind of, I kind of prefer Close to the Edge myself, but it is really good. Um, it's a really good album as well, uh, Fragile. Um, just stuff like that, you know, if you, you're like, and I, I suppose if you're talking racing means and Deja Vu and stuff like that, you, you probably, you know, if you've heard Deja Vu, you've started hearing Eurobeat, so which means you're, you're into kind of very 90s kind of um, electronic dance, which is very cool, because I really like Eurobeat. Um, obviously, obviously now it has a it has a, an eternal connection to racing to initial D. Oh, 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 I did, I did. That was a bad. That was a bad. That, yeah, this isn't a good. I remember there was a, a race I did where I, I was on like um, this was part of a season ages ago. Um, I think it was last week, I think, <laughs> which feels like a lifetime ago in lockdown. Um, and I remember struggling with it for ages. I think I was on unbeatable. I think I'm, this is why I think the the, the, last, the uh, race I turned the difficulty down on. Because I was on like a, it was like a, it was like a, I think a B grade race, and so you have limited upgrades, and so I had the choice between having a car that was super slow or a car that I could either have a car with dirt tires or a car that would actually win the race. And I, you know, chose the latter, and probably it was actually a mistake too. So that is the fourth of them completed. So we've done all four stages. Uh, that gives you 200 points. Uh, you get, I think you get, I can't remember how many you get each day for the daily challenges. But when, if, but if you do all, but if you do all, if you do all of them, if you do the weeklies and the dailies, which are the dailies are really easy. Like some of them you can you can accidentally do. Uh, right. So shall we try a bit of? I mean, we could go for a little bit of multiplier if you fancy. And I think we will. May as well give it a go. Um, now, I remember off, when on, on the day season starts, ironically enough, it's probably the worst day to actually get a multiplayer game. Like, they almost never work. Um, I've been kicking so many games, like, while I'm loading. Ooh, actually, Sugar, I should actually check what car it is. Or whether I have something that actually qualifies. Is it seriously just a barchetta? Okay, now I'm a bit worried. <laughs> uh, Horizon Special Micro Mayhem. Right, you know what? Actually, I'm going to drop out of this. I am going to drop out of this championship because I am trying to figure out whether I actually have a car that can do it. Um, Micro Mayhem. If not, then, I, then we may have to buy a car, which would be lovely. And we have, might actually have to go on the bloody auction to do it. Let's see. 166mm Barchetta. Now, we'll see if there is actually a category, because it was Micro Mayhem. Um, now, now, whether that is actually a category of car or whether it's just a special thing, I don't know. So here's our car types. No, okay, so... We'll just try and find the, the car in particular then. So these are the cars you can easily buy. Unlike uh, Gran Turismo, you can just kind of buy them all from one menu. There's a load of manufacturers. You can skip by manufacturer, but we're quite close to Ferrari anyway. Uh... There it is, that's the one we're after. 166mm by. Uh, 166mm by Barchetta. And we have designs, so let's see if we can find some that's particularly inane. Uh, Supreme. Weird anime. I think we're going to go for weird anime. I think. Ruin the car as much as possible. 6.5 million. Okie dokie. This is why this is why I I, I had twenty million because I was I was saving up for the castle and then I inadvertently and I did like the expansion uh, pack uh, forty nine which gives you a lot of money. Right. Let's see what hell I've I have wrought on this world. Um, 
I have probably... This is probably hell. I do apologise, I have unleashed hell. Yeah, that is hell. Um, but, there is actually a challenge, you can actually photograph... There is a reward for photographing every car in the game. I am not even going to get close to that because it takes ages. But I might do it for, for now, just because it's funny like. Because um, I usually have I usually have ridiculous stuff on my um, I I usually deliberately pick really silly um, designs mostly because of the, mostly because of a lot of Tohu based ones and I'm actually quite a big fan of the uh, of Tohu no never actually played Idol Master mostly because I think it's a Japanese only arcade uh, about dancing I think oh yeah you have like a pop star anime girl or something I I don't, I don't really know it very well. Um, let's. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of 600 tunes. Let's go for a fast 6.5. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be a weird trial if we're, if, we're, if we're going this slowly. Like, it's gonna be bizarre. But we'll, um. We'll do what we can. We will try our utmost. Ooh, I think we might have actually hopped back onto the same event we actually abandoned, so... Wait a second. This does this feel quite fun to drive, though. It's like, it's such a tiny little car. I probably shouldn't be driving like this. Um, let's see. I mean, there's different perspectives, of course. And the, the resolution tends to be pretty good that like, you can actually read speedos and things like that. Even, like, digital, like, the digital ones they have, which sometimes are a bit iffy to read on, um... On, on like you know on games but they actually look really good here oh, oh. oh we have control issues oh. oh don't kick me out of the um don't kick me out of the lobby 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 oh okay <laughs> Couldn't time that any better. So let's see how um, likely this is. Oh, yeah, uh, you will find a lot of very weird um, designs in um, Force Horizon. A lot of meme stuff, a lot of um, anime stuff, a lot of bizarre stuff. A lot of really cool, um, like as perfect as you can get. Um, like, um, like racing color, racing replicas and stuff like that. They, which are probably the best ones. Like, uh, one of my favorite cars I have is um, the RS two hundred in the nineteen eighty six Rally Regalia, with, like Olivetti and Olivetti sponsorship and stuff like that. Basically, before everything went wrong with Group B. Oh, you have control pumps again. I, I have my emergency controller on standby in case we have issues. Um, I think I may have a, a control with an iffy battery, but we'll we'll see what we can do. Okay, so those numbers indicate I think very few people actually have this car. Well, someone has a Mayor's Bank, so I didn't even know it qualified. So. Um, can. So this is um, so this is a team racing challenge. Basically what we want to do is we are blue team, we want to beat red team. There are point scores, we overtake them. The red team are made up of unbeatable AI which is the highest ranked AI. Unlike what they say they are not unbeatable, like even someone not great as I am can kind of cut through them. Uh, Even on a good connection, sort of, you do get quite a bit of lag though. So, so you'll sometimes see them like kind of scissor cut into you, which is weird. Um, scissor cut. How do I mean? We are not doing too badly though. We are... In terms of our score, we're not that far behind. 
if I can somehow get past these two, which I think is actually quite likely because I'm fast at as long as our uh, erstwhile friend Sir Hazen Rocker doesn't do anything um, untowards. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're winning now. And, and generally, that's what happens. Like, generally, the lower drives will, will kind of catch and be able to overtake someone. And the people in front of me. Shaky. Right. I, I think I'm acquitting myself right here. Oh, careful, mate. <laughs> I, I'm actually acquitting myself. I'm actually, I'm actually racing surprisingly well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm leading an unbeatable, I'm leading a trials race, which I don't usually do. Yeah, nice try, mate. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be aggressive, like, if he overtakes them, we still win. Like. Oh, aggressive there, but... Generally, the car, the car of the driving is so slow that can, you can recover from any mistakes on a track like this. So we're um yeah, so this, this is weird. This is the most relaxed I ha I've played I've been both A streaming and B playing a multiplayer game while streaming. <laughs> Although that said, I don't think I have a lot of experience playing multiplayer games streaming. I tend to prefer single player games because I like discussing an experience rather than kind of competing with others. I think there's I think I I, I, I kind of think that with um, multiplayer games, generally it's best kept to people who are very good at the game. And I'm, you know, I'm, I've played a lot of Forza Horizon 4, but I'm hardly an expert. Um, there's a lot I don't know. I haven't actually got all the barn finds yet. I've got one, there's, there's like one missing, which doesn't seem to show up on any map I have. So I'm like, I don't know whether it's a case if I can't get it yet, or whether there's another condition I need to meet to get it. Um, I'll check that at some point, uh, and I probably will. I might do. I might do a special stream trying to find that lost car, um, the lost mystery or something. Maybe that'll be a follow-up to this stream. Actually, uh, if I don't get all the Fortifon stuff stuck there, Fortifon things done tonight, I will. I, I will do another stream with the rest of the Fortifon stuff, plus finding the slash bar and find probably with the help of. Um, like one of the amazing walkthroughs that people have. I'm not buying a treasure map, but you can actually buy maps in this game for real money, and it's not, it's a complete waste of money. Um, and this has come from someone who has the Ultimate Edition just on a whim. Because, like, I like Forza Horizon, I may as well get the Ultimate Edition, it's like 50 quid or something, like, it might be the most I've paid, spent on a single game. Actually, that's not true because I bought Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that was 70 quid, so, because I bought the. Fighters pass with it. Okay. Next race. Um, I suppose there is one thing about this game that, that if you're trying to avoid copyright infringing, then probably being on like, like the classical music uh, station is probably your better bet. Because even if you're not racing, even if you have no music on, if you go past one of these stands, they have music playing from like one of the random stations, and it can include stuff like The Weeknd and stuff like that, so, uh, and Bear and Pendulum and stuff, so, I can kind of mess that up. I recognise this song. Should I it? Oh no, I don't. I recognise something very similar to this that isn't this. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. So, uh, if you ever play Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo strats still work, which is, and Gran Turismo strats are basically run into other cars. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're actually playing an online lobby with completely made up of other players, because it is a dick move, and I've been really pissed when someone's done that to me when we're on the same team, but, you know, it's an option. And this game has very poor moderation when it comes to breathing and trolling. So it's, it's not like even for even the Formula One games are, are kind of better for it. Um, I guess it's because there are so many different challenges and different stuff that you can't really moderate them all. We're not doing badly at all. Though. 
and we were obviously leading as a team. Uh, there are three races in this. If you win this one, then we'll have a third one, which is essentially just for fun at this point. Right. We can get past Hayes and Rocket. We can take, maybe make a, sh a jump for the next to the mate. Uh, communication with players is other players is kind of weird if you don't. I think I, I, I mean it was, the game obviously does have a little bit. No one, I don't think anyone actually has it turned on. Or maybe I just have it all turned on. Go uh, on, you have another go, Sir Hazen Rocker, or Hazen Rocker. Uh, we can we can take out the decent few. <laughs> Sorry, like about like at half a dozen jokes, like kind of head, you know, rushed into my head at once, and like and there were, I like kind of a bunch, bunch of people tried to escape a door at once, and like they all just got stuck. So uh, yeah, no such luck. I do I so I won the last race. I would really like to win this one, but I think it might be. Out, I think the race might be out of our reach now. But we can definitely get. We can, we're definitely in the top three, like, so, unless we screw up. Not, I think, I think the thing is actually, you can probably. I can probably. I've probably got a bit too conservative with the brake, actually. Uh, I can probably get away with uh, a lot more lift, lift and coasting. Um, because the car I'm driving is very light, very low power, and very aerodynamic. I don't have a lot of time to make this attack, so let's. Let's attack, let's attack. Oh yeah, that's my horn by the way, it's the Windows <laughs> it's the Windows XP shutdown noise. You get some really crazy ones, you get like electric guitar solos and I did the Halo things for that as well. I will show you some of the customization stuff in that as well. because uh, you can get like costumes. It's very like um, a very unheralded game now, uh, Test Drive Unlimited 2. Which I'll probably will stream at some point, just to kind of show it as a different show a difference between it and it and this. I think I might have actually done a YouTube video on it years and years and years ago. Um, yeah, okay, we're only going to third, but third is still good enough. <sighs> oh, oh, it might not be, actually. We're only got... Oh, oh, this is going to be tricky. We are 50 points. Come on. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, come on, get the, get the place back, get the place back! No, we've lost it now. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that happens sometimes as well. Like, because you can easily slip on a corner. If you miss a checkpoint, because you can't rewind, you can really screw yourself over. Because often, where it will reset you to is actually, like, the worst place to reset you. Um, like, because it means you'll just keep missing it, keep missing it, and hit, keep hitting Y, keep missing it again until you give up and either drop out the level entirely, drop out the come levels. Drop out of the uh, r uh, the race entirely, or like just let the timer run out, and then you get reset. A, a dead stop next to the thing. So I'm hoping that won't happen. Right. So we've got a sprint. Uh, this matters now. I was hoping it wouldn't matter, but now we get we have to we have to uh, win. Me and Sir Hazen Rocker, I think, are probably going to win this. Like that's that's I'm not worried about. That I'm worried about the rest of everyone. It gets to the point where it's sometimes better if like some of the drivers just drop out, which is a really cruel thing to say, but is kind of true. Let's be careful, you don't, you don't you know how erratic these drivers can get. Um, I'm taking advantage of the fact that my car has way better acceleration off the line because I have tuned it that way. Oh, what the f <laughs> what the hell? Oh god damn it! <laughs> but we're winning anyway, like. <laughs> right, so yeah, sometimes stuff like this also happens, so you gotta kind of like be prepared to adapt. <laughs> but I think that happening, I think actually ruined the. Yeah, the driver tile. Like, like, there's only one in the top five. So, this is, so this is a case in which you're know, racing to catch up. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, just take the nudge at this point. Um, damage is only cosmetic in a multiplayer game, which is a blessing. 
So you can't like crash and then it like kills your gearbox so you have no chance. You can just like be a bit cavalier. Which I think is the way to tr which is I think the way to try and avoid moderation, because you can't force someone out of the race. Like you can kind of pit them, I guess. But you can't truly grief. Uh, that was that was a regrettable move. Oh! Oh that was also regrettable. Like, we're through. We are third. We are third, but we are miles behind. I think we're gonna, I think third is as good as we're gonna get. We got us first though in the trial, so. I'm very happy about that. And I'm happy I haven't made any colossal mess ups I keep alluding to. So, maybe I'll do this again. Maybe. Like, in most games, pressure ruins me, but in this game, it seems to actually make me better. So, let's. Oh, watch out, Chick. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's animals in this game. You can't actually run them over, but you can kind of get close. And sometimes the, the game will glitch. So you, can, you can run them over, you just won't do anything. So I bet Peter had a field day with this because they seem to complain about anything, anything where video, where uh, video games and animals are tangentially related. But you know they're they're kind of irrelevant at this point anyway. And they seem to have a great contempt for human life. So anyway, Peter ran over. I don't. Wanna, I'm not going to get into that. What we want to do is want to get into this um, this race for the lead, and we're getting close. And the music's kind of chiming up! Uh oh. So Hazel Rocket, get out of the way! So Hazel Rocket, no! No! Oh, so. That's a cool touch they have, where if you're really close to, a, to someone like either just ahead or just behind, you'll see them when you cross the line. I. I don't know if we've done enough. Yeah, we've done enough because everyone's finished. We made it! <laughs> oh, our trial is done. Our trial is complete. And we're gonna. Right. There we go. So, if you. Yeah, if you win the championship, uh, you don't only get a moonwalk dance, you also get. A reward car, uh, the Porsche, which in this case is the Porsche 550. That's a good start. So what's next? Um, let's get back onto. Ooh, bringer of gelatin. I was thought that was bringer of joy, but I might be thinking I might be confusing it with Mercury. Um, okay, so we're on the street. So these are B class. Um, yeah. Okay, so we need to get. The, problem, the only problem I have with this is that a lot of the cards I have probably got that are very good at this are cards I have like hyper spec because I, I, I love um, Japanese sports cards. It's it's the it's the Gran Turismo thing. I didn't realise it at the time, but Gran Turismo is essentially an initial D simulator. It has like all the cars. Um, I think it has like all the cars from that series. Right, so let's okay, let's head to one of our castles. Turn around. When it is safe to do so. But yeah, I think we'll do that one first. So, um, actually, first of all, we can we can do, we can act, before we do that, we'll double check um, what exactly the category is because sometimes that's an easier way to narrow it down. Uh, oh, Japanese, Japanese B B grades. We can... So theoretically, we can get a really low grade car and just like spec the hell out of it. Recalculating route. Meters, and that will still count, but right. I think what it intends is street racing cars. And that is probably what we're going for. That's, ca that's Patchy Bell's cannon! In 400 meters, turn right. It's weird hearing this, this song without a guitar solo, honestly. I, um... God, man. God, that makes me old. Um, do you remember Cannon Rock? That was awesome. <laughs> 
it was like this weird collaborative project where like basically someone did a um a like a guitar version because that was popular at one point of uh patchy boss canon in d minor and basically a load of people did their, like, their own spin on it and it was really really great i think someone did like a mega mix which arrived at your might still be on youtube i'm not sure um but yeah stuff with people like jerry c i can't remember what the other guy the other main guy was um but yeah that was really good right so let's so we can't choose by Japan, but we can choose B-spec cars, and then pick one, and then pick Japanese manufacturers. So um, Ford, Honda. We do already have an S two thousand ready for this. Um, let's let's go f further on. Let's. Hmm. No, let, let's go for the RX seven. I've mentioned Initial D like three times, so we may as well pick a car I believe is actually um, from Initial D. Quite early on, if I remember correctly. So yeah, you can get... Certain cars have body pre kit presets. God, what is that? That... Is, get it off my screen, that is hell. That one looks okay. But we can't use it because that will put us above the um, the upgrade. Oh, oh no, no, actually, no, no, we don't want that. We want that. So, um, so we're going to max that to 700 because you want to be as close to the um, threshold as possible so you can get better specs. Um, if you don't do that, you generally will face weaker opposition, but it still it, it was it still behooves you to to have um, as as good a car as the regulations will allow. All right, so let's pick a silly design as well over here. Uh, Japanese cars tend to have particularly weird designs on them. Um, except this time, because they actually seem relatively decent, so, for God's sake, that's so, that's so immature. Um, let's go, go for birds, sold out. Um, let's go for artworks. Uh, gotta emphasize the Z on that. Uh, RX-7. You know what, I quite like that. Um. Oh. Now the, the problem with this is we're on the other side of the map, so we can even drive it. Or you know, do the same same thing of just fast travel. And fast travel in this game costs money, but the more fast travel thing um, signs you break, which are like scattered around the map, uh, the less it costs. And I think you can eventually go for free from all of them. I've got to, the, although I think I've got to the point where it's like down to a thousand, which is probably good enough for me. Like a thousand is monopoly money um, once you get to a certain point in the game. That was. I'm gonna pretend I meant to do that. You know what's better than a seasonal championship in the summer? Uh, not much really. Have fun. Right. Yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of B-grade uh, Japanese cars, so we're um. That's something that hasn't really changed from the Gran Turismo days. You know, I know they didn't really have any involvement because I. I believe this is a British company, I want to say, that made this. Oh, oh, it's only on highly skilled. Yeah, of course I'm going to update. Uh, yeah, so that would explain why I was doing so well. Um, right, we, we, we knew we won against, we won one race and we knew we won two others against unbeatable, uh, unbeatable drivers and the internet. So let's see how we do against expert drivers. And the answer is not very well. Uh, we are quite... Kind of being mulled here a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to pick our way through. What the hell? <laughs> That's a Hilux! <laughs> wow, they really were such a Japanese car. <laughs> Sorry, like the game, the level was word on the street. I kind of expected like race and stuff like that, but I suppose the way the categories, the blueprint system works, you can't. 
picked like oh you can only have um sports cars and um like hatchbacks and like um, like saloons or whatever they've got to actually include all of these cars so we're getting a bit better now we're getting, we're getting close to starbug I wonder if there are any red dwarf like uh paints. Ah I'm sure. I'm not, I need to see Promise Land Hops in it. Let's make the mistake of going around the outside. Oh! Ah. My bad! Sorry! Is, I believe, pulling away at this point. We're so, gonna have to be very aggressive with our very buzzy wanker rotary engine, which sounds like a bloody hummingbird. <laughs> Me. Somehow got that. Um, we might be back in the race, kind of. No, he's pulling away again. And we don't have a lot of the race left. I think, that's, I think that actually might be the finish over there. Uh, oh no, it's another checkpoint. Right. right I, I've just got to. I've just got to push now. Push, 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 push. push. Ow! Oh, wait. That, oh, that's not the end. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> to sell clip that <laughs> that's silly but it's silly in the way I want it to be silly sent me some images of a beautiful house in Glen Rannock. Must be some sort of farm stay. Sounds lovely. If Mrs. Thompson and I have time this weekend, perhaps we'll... What's that? Purchased? By one of the drivers from Horizon? Oh, well, congratulations to them, I suppose. You don't do farm stays by any chance, do you? <laughs> The sad thing about this song appearing now is that it's going to disappear very soon. So, we're not, so I'm not even going to be able to make my Champions League jokes. Victorious Relations The racing I guess Turn sharp right You have arrived at your destination Let's keep rowing anyway. Right. I at the moment I think we're pushing our luck because I, I I only barely won the previous race. But we'll um, we'll, we'll see what we get. Had a bit. I do apologise. That's probably I'm, I'm, that's kind of what a pop filters for, I guess. It's, and it's and it's seen on the pop filter, I should emphasize it. It's hopefully but it hopefully won't be quite as loud a sound as it was in my head. Um, let's let's get to this anyway. Mr. Steel Yo Gurulex! God everyone's overtaken me. I might try another car if this doesn't work. Because I do have some other um, uh, stuff specced for um, Japanese um, B class events. Not that I've played a lot of season or anything. There, uh, there are a few um, repeats uh, for seasons. And I, be I believe they have like a cycle ones that always repeat and then they have like... Um, and then, they, then they will do like bespoke special events as well. Oh! 
that, that would have been like a quadruple pass had it had not hit someone. But anyway, that's kind of put us back in the race a little bit. Because we have. Oh, and that hasn't. You know, I'm going to bite that. Right, so. So that's a terrible rewind impression. I don't know why I did that. So, break. Let's break and not mess that up. I'll try not to abuse uh, rewind, like, because as well, I, I do get that like, it's kind of not very fun to watch, but sometimes, sometimes it is funny if you do something ridiculous and then just rewind it, or especially if you do something bad on purpose and then rewind that. And to be honest, I haven't actually had to use it in a race yet, like, so I'm. Um, it took me one nearly. A, an hour and a half into a, into a Forza stream to actually have to use it, so um, I consider that a victory. Um, see how far we get with this. Uh, my intention is to play until maybe 8-ish. It might, it might not be that long. My I'm basically going to play until I've got all the playground events done and then I'll probably do a sugar. sugar. Um, I do tend to rewind when, when, when the stuff is a traffic load thing. Right, right. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I'm not having that. Right. Uh, how do we even do this bit then? Oh, that's how! <laughs> Drive through it. Oh, 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 bad, 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 GG, bad, GG. That's bad, that's, that's bad. Let's, let's not hit the bikes. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Bad design. Yeah, you can kind of rate designs on. Um, you, know, you can either like them or not like them. Ah, the next race is right next to it. Too. Ah, but how do we get to it? Yeah, we have to go all the way around. 200 meters, turn right. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> turn right. Again, she's a bit of a pain. But you can um, I don't know if it's in Burnout Paradise. Love, tragedy, romance, classical music for everyone. Timeless FM. On Timeless FM, something I actually quite enjoy about the Horizon Festival, ladies and gentlemen, is the amazing cast of people you meet from all over the world. For instance, last night I had a fascinating conversation with a German insurance investigator named Hans. I don't know much about cars, of course, but he really had a way of bringing things to life for me, you know? I hope if we get to hear more of... That's enough of that um, comedy. I, I do... Well, I think other than GTA, has anyone ever got like the fake DJ correct? Maybe three dog and four and three. 
panic at all. But he's kind of an actual character, so I don't know if he actually counts either. But like, um, this is bad. D oh. This is bad. DJ Atomic is worse. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the ones that try so hard to be cool are very annoying. Um, I mean, at, le at least this guy's trying going for like um, a Mark Corrigan s like pretentious vibe. No, 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 that's bad. That is... That... Not good at all. Let's try that with a little less failure. That's more like it. Kill it from... You're mine. But yeah, I... In ex I, I, I can't not associate her on the G-Stream with racing games now because of Burnout Paradise and now this. Um, but yeah. Pass the GTO, pass the high looks. I can't actually tell what that was. One of them looks like a scout knight, you can tell by the light. I don't think the other one might be a, G might be a very old GTO. Well, not an old one, like an early 90s rather than late 90s one. Well. I don't think Mr. Machine can make GTO anymore. Oh no, it's in this sign, you can see by the thing. The thing but... Is that nice? Is that a fair lake? I don't remember the fair Fairlake's looking at that. I think it might be a fair lady's head. Or the 300 ZX, I guess, if you're um, in other regions. We're making it through, we're making it through. Oh, oh, oh is that gonna... <laughs> I thought I got away with that, I really did. I, I almost did, actually. And we... That time, okay. Can't tell if they catch it up or not. Uh, oh yeah, they definitely are. Oh my god, they are. At a scary, scary pace. But I might be able to hold him off. Yeah, he's not caught the draft, so I think I'm okay. Made it. <laughs> so that's, that's one championship down. Two more to go. And we are near another um, home, so we can at least fix that. Speaking of fixing, I'm gonna fix this up a little bit damage. Ah, uh, Morgan's spice is the poison tonight. Which is enough for, you know, 10 fast, uh, 15 fast travels. That's nice. Um, yeah, like my, this is like my third drink, so... I don't know whether it's going to have a positive or negative effect on my driving ability, but we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Hopefully I'll have a positive effect on my commentary. Right, okay, D... Uh, what do we want? Do we want a Talbot Sunbeam? You know what? We're gonna try and get that Talbot Sunbeam to like win a your know, win a race. Uh, the only problem with that is that it, there isn't actually a lot of room to left. kind of make it better. In 100 meters, turn left. <laughs> It's weird hearing this song and not in like Amiga mode because I 
recognise it primarily as a song from, uh, again, from Frontier to uh, Elite Two. You have arrived at your destination. Sensation. Um, you know, not a very fun game to play now, just because it's um, very. It's a game that's aged very badly, and it, it was because it was quite. It was kind of rushed to release, so it kind of wasn't the best. Let's. You know, we know what car we're going to get, so let's skip straight to Talbot. Ah, oh, super rude for you to... Talbot Sunbeam. God, this is like your granddad's car, basically. Well, I love, I love my granddad's. They never had a Talbot. I don't think even he was old enough for one. Um, custom upgrade. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, we can't custom it because we... Auto upgrade, there we go. Yeah, 153 brake horsepower. That is the the magic we're gonna get out of this. God knows what I don't. Know. I can't even begin to guess what kind of engine it is. Uh, that one looks quite good. Um, I'm gonna go with bizarre anime because I, I, I can think I could think of only two things that go very well together, and that is anime and Talbot sunbeams, which are allegedly have like lotus like suspensions, I guess. But uh, I have significant doubts about that somehow. We never know. We'll um. Bandai Visual, would that be? Houses and Lego cars racing for the title of speed champion. <laughs> I'm trying to make the case for visiting Black. So I. Uh, right, so it's. You all. I keep getting the quickest way to get to this um, this menu. Is it too close to the fourth alive? No, no, we're fine. So we've got to, we've got to the forest. I like that. That. And then that. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay, that bodes badly for this for, the, for this car's ability on um, dirt tracks. Oh wow, that was um, that was quite a spin. This is yeah. Don't don't expect any kind of like blazing speed. We will get to that. Um, the aim for me is that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get through this championship, the other championship, and then we'll get to the uh, the final PR stunt, and then we'll do. Oh, I don't know if I'll do playground today because playground is, is such a is such a hit and miss thing. I might split that. I might put that in a separate stream. Just no, I'll, I'll, I might have one go. It depends. It depends on time. If I've got enough time at the end to do it, I'll I'll do it. It's an awful little motorcycle. In 400 meters, turn left. Can we escape the, the forest? Oh, we can! We certainly can. We made it, we made it to the end. In Thank heavens for that. Meters, turn right. Oh, God, it's across the bridge, isn't it? You know what? We go, we go the nature way. Forward! You have arrived at your destination. Ah. There you see the Talbot Sunbeam reversing into its natural environment. With 
It's very unnatural environment, we should say. It's not uh, championship a at Horizon in summer. What more could you want? A decent car. <laughs> to be honest, I did this to myself. Like, there, there were better options. I probably should have spec'd up the Mini Cooper if I was actually, you know, taking this seriously. That looks, it looks like someone else has, ha has a sunbeam, like... Oh my god. I'm hoping this is, we've, we've, got a rally, we've got a rally cross thing going on. And I'm hoping it's more track than dirt, because I'm pretty sure this car cannot handle uh, not, like, gravel or something. Right. Do we have grunt? Don't really have great. Do we have brakes? No, my god, the the poor poising is insane. Ah. Right. I somehow got an ultimate drafting score, but I was in water, so you can't really feel the benefit of that. Right. Um. Um, I suppose on the plus side, they're not getting away from me. Um, and if they try to race each other, like genuinely, that gives me a chance to catch up. Like it's gonna happen now. Okay, Your internality. Yeah, you're mine. Oh, look at that. Bad times. Bad times. Please, I just got a text. Impromptu tech support in the middle of a race. I, I suppose the real swag strap would be to try and answer that text while also racing at the same time. Like one control, one hand holding the control, one hand uh, actually, you know, um, one hand you know typing in my answer in. But. I, I, as, you, as you probably already can tell, I'm not that great at this game. I'm probably better than average, but I'm not. But that doesn't really mean a whole lot. There we go. Finally got ground. Yeah, that wasn't stressful. Uh, there. Got there in the end. No, I'm, yeah, let's not do that. God, the, the roll of the, uh, of the um, chassis is insane. It kind of reminds me a bit of Need for Speed of the Realm, but like it's just this car and your kind of cars are like it. Right, can I just about pull away at this point, like, from Dimitri Ma? I think I can. I think I've got it. I think I've got it over there. There'll be a loading screen, I'm sure I can quickly tap my answer in. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Bad. Bad sticky, bad sticky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad, bad again. Bad day this time, bad me, bad me. Oh. 
I think we can hold it. I think we can hold it. Success in my in my pink Talbot sunbeam. Um, I, I suppose I'm, I should probably try and explain some stuff about Talbot while I'm here. Talbot Turn were left. one of the many, 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 many British car companies bought by British Leyland. Basically, one. Um. Right, I suppose I should explain British Leyland right here. British Leyland were basically the British car industry with like maybe one or two exceptions. They had um, vo uh, they had the Mi they owned the Mini, they owned Metro, they owned Rover, they owned uh, Triumph, they owned oh, you know, Light. Um, MG, that's it. Uh, yeah, MG cars. Um, that's good. I know that's the main ones. But they own like a load of other ones as well. Like, I think the only ones they didn't own were like people like British Taxes International. Tr uh, they didn't own. They never owned TBI. Uh, and there's like a bunch of like small sports car companies. And obviously, you know, British car companies that have come since. Like, um, oh, oh, Lo I don't think they ever owned Lotus either. Lotus, I think, got bought out. After the uh, the MT Rover deal, um, but Talbot was one of them. And the thing about um, British Leyland cars is a, they had a lot of quite bad cars, and a lot of cars that were very very uh, similar to each other because a lot of times they, they they basically make the same car and like just put a different badge on it, uh, maybe sometimes change the bodywork just to make it look a little bit different, like uh, the Austin Allegro and the. Um, Awful, awful, awful car. Well, I mean, the Austin Allegro, wasn't it? The Austin Allegro, then there was another car which was like, um, you know, just as bad. Like, they were cars that were more aerodynamic in going backwards and forwards. Um, and basically, the only reason this happened was that um, um, a company bought Press Steel. Uh, which basically made all the, um, which basically made the bodies for pretty much everyone else. So by that point, they it ended up being this giant merger, and it was kind of hilarious. A lot of British Leyland cars are hilarious. There were some really good ones though in that. I mean, they had Lambro as well, I should say, uh, and I believe Jaguar. Uh, yeah, Jack. I'm pretty sure they had Jaguar as well. So there were some genuinely good companies under the British Leyland umbrella. Uh, but in 1985, under a very, very privatized, privatization, very um, well, they got nationalized in the mid 70s, which basically meant that British Leyland were a government-owned car company. Um, and after about a decade or more of that, they ended up being bought. They ended up being sold to. I, well, I believe they were sold in pieces, and then eventually, like the main part of it was sold to. Um, BMW, who then sold it themselves to, uh, to I want to say Tata? Well, they may have sold bits of it as well. I can't, I can't quite remember. I don't, I, I don't know who owned Land Rover now. Um, it might have been Ford. I, I, I genuinely can't remember a lot of the story. Like, it gets really complicated after BMW sell it. Uh, and then... And there's lots of attempts to bring like Rover and you know, certain, certain uh, marks back, but it kind of didn't work very well. It's kind of like when they tried to bring Saab back, and it just wasn't, it wasn't right because that car was not really finished, and that, that's why I'm with a lot of um, British Leyland cars. And that has been story time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Your mind wanders into weird places when you're driving your Talbot Salvat. Tal a Talbot Sunbeam Lotus with uh, anime characters on the fr on the uh, side, um, in the middle of a, a larger picturesque uh, game that's been turned into a festival. Uh, no. 
Yeah, I, I kind of, I, I kind of had a bit too much confidence in the card's ability to you know, break, to break and then to actually succeed to turn around the corner. But we'll, we'll, we'll pretend the second didn't happen. I, I can edit that, I'm sure. Oh, what, this is streaming? Oh dear. Uh, we'll pretend. We, we probably need one of those kind of like neuralizers from Men in Black then to kind of wipe the audience. No, I am a very good driver. What are you on about? Yes, you're a good driver. What are you on about? Final lap. So, I suppose the interesting thing about this is that it has stuff from Lotus, which is almost a weird marketing tactic, was um, going like, oh yeah, our really cheap um, hatchback, you know, our really cheap like family car has um, racing a racing pedigree, which it clearly did, like, it's a Talbot Sunbeam. Like, it's, it's dull. It is not an elegant car, and it certainly doesn't look elegant when you when, when it is moving, as you can probably tell. I mean, look at that! Look how look how elegant I look! Look at this! Look at that sensational! The Colin McRae would be proud. <laughs> I could have been even finished that. <laughs> I can be. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, ah, no! Oh, I could have gone. That could have gone worse. That could have gone better. I think we're still, we're still ahead. Oh god! But I think the other Talbot is catching up. Oh god! It's Talbot on Talbot action. Oh no! All right? Can we do the impossible? Can we make this corner? Kind of, sort of. No. Yes. Oh man. Modeling my driving style from Yano Trulli, aka the slowest win race winner in the world. I love Yano Trulli, but seriously, like. There was, there was a term named after him called the Trulli Train, which is basically where. It's, it's like a procession of cars that can't get past him, but he's so slow that kind of it's just like every car is kind of snaking around, trying desperately to get past. But calm. I don't know what you call it if you mean general. Maybe a race manager? But not an actual race manager? One more race, uh, which is in a place I don't know. Right. Oh, there it is. Good. So let's get to Edmund Castle. Castle, I suppose. Very exciting, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. called Kingfisher Cottage, which I understand a lucky driver from the Horizon Festival has recently purchased. Took lots of snaps. It's a beautiful place. Now, we just need to make friends with the new owner so that we can visit someday. To the new owner, if you're listening, this song is dedicated entirely to you. Please, can we come visit? <laughs> okay. Okay, that was kind of... Roundabout. Take the second exit. Let's see. In 100 meters. What I saw that one thing that's nice about driving very bad cars in this game is that kind of it makes everything more exciting. 
like, because you might not even be able to get around a simple corner without, like, pitching it into a wall. You have arrived at your destination. That's 70 miles now, but because of how fragile it is, it feels like, you know, it feels significantly uh, more terrifying. I'm not sure what game this is from. Yeah, we're going up difficulty again. We may regret this. Molto Allegro. This will, this will be the soundtrack of our demise. If I remember correctly, this one, I think it goes up around the mountain. Uh, Actually, no, I think that's a cross country track. Sorry, I'm, there's, there's a few races that start from here, so I'm, I sometimes get confused. Right. Can we get past. Oh, no, we can't, no, we can't. Is that Capri or Cortina? It's a shunt, is what it is. We are technically ahead. Technically ahead and technically no traction. Yeah, oh, no, I know. No, I did have the right one. Yeah, this is the mountain track. Yeah, so we go up and then we go down, and it is night. And I, I imagine the Talbot something. It is going to look like a nightmare. Uh, please bear with me. Uh, oh, we lost the place. Okay, we lost the place. We may not win this one, but as long as we're not too far down, we might, I might just have it because what matters for the, to get the reward in this game is not actually winning every race, but making put pace in first in the championship. And because we have two wins, we might be okay. Up and down the mountain, well, not the side mountain, it's okay. We are miles behind. I've got the windscreen wipers on. Well, at least we got that. Oh, oh, oh! That's actually started raining. In the game. So. They are... They are mercifully close to each other, but I am miles behind. Uh, right. Yes, this card doesn't scream elegance to me. <laughs> yeah, I think the classical music might be overdoing it a bit. But... I quite, I quite like it, so I quite like it. So as long as I don't get banned, then I'm happy to keep, I'm happy to leave on. But to be, but to be honest, you've got like, people like Jason Paris, who I love, by the way. You know, he's got like actual songs because he's uh, playing the guitar here and stuff. If he can, if he can be on, so you know, I'm pretty sure the classical music can be on too. Although you can probably play in fit. Uh, we're not going to get into a legal argument, but you can probably play things more in his videos than mine. But let's. Oh 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 oh. oh. Right. Okay, that's one down. Get the big draft, get the big draft. Nope. Close the door, there's a draft. Oh, I'm push wide. Something through. Um, I'm third, that third should, that third will do it for the championship, I think. I hope, because I'm not redoing this championship if I'm, if, if I'm locking up. Oh, ah. Votable healer. Oh, come on, can I... Oh, can I catch up to him? No, I don't think I can. Ah. Third. But I am still miles ahead in the championships, so that's fine. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, we won money and we won a car. I can't remember what car it was. I think it, oh, it was a Stratus, I believe. <laughs> Although, we'll find that in a second. It tells. When we go into the menu. Yeah, Lancia Stratos HC Spadale. So that's aka the good Stratos. Right. So, what is the rules for this? Heavy hitters, what counts as a heavy hitter? Oh, the Warthog. Uh... I 
I should already have a car for this. Um, let's try that one actually. The SRT Hellcat. Uh, what's the nearest? Yeah, we'll go forward. That was me just frantically bashing for no reason because I was already in, but. Right, garage. Challenger SRT Hellcat. Now, this might not be the right car for cross country, but we'll, uh, we'll see anyway. I suppose I could do custom, but let's get top of A, top of A class. This might be a case where I'm going to kind of be a fool unto myself because cross country isn't really designed to have simulation um, damage on because it'll just it just messes up. Oh, pony, no, thank you. Uh, doo -doo -doo, monster energy white. Fours are white. How? Uh, that's something quite amusing. You know what? We'll go for this one for now. I mean, this is this is the kind of game where you could do some really funny things. Where it's like, yo, know, we can have people like demand you pick certain. Um, You can demand people do that they chalk choose um, certain designs and so you're, you're there with like your really embarrassing designs on. Uh, obviously for the same reason. Because there's some really, really there's some really good ones and some really silly ones. And I think the uh, the Aston Martin Lion um Lionesses one, um, to celebrate the Women's World Cup a year, a year uh, yeah, of last year. That one is probably both at once because it's really, it's actually kind of a cool design, but it's not, it's kind of a bit odd at the same time as well, and it's very odd that it's on an Aston Martin. Um, but of course, that's something I, that's something I do to live to do myself. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's alive. Um, I think my favourite really silly design is if you get like um, a bubble cap, like a Vizetta or. The PLP 50 or what's the other one? Yes, the BMW is that the PLP 50. I think there's another peel. Um, and what you can do is you can put, you can, you can actually have them as a, you can actually put them in Kinder Surprise mode. <laughs> so it's like you've got like the Kinder Surprise livery. It's amazingly like well designed. Uh, although I think the one I had was, a bit, was kind of a bit rude. So like the first first design I had a four three. Yeah, Zotac the Priest is probably better known as the Champions League Anthem. Or at least the, some bits of it are. Like. 400 meters, turn left. It's technically an original composition inspired by, but I never. Uh, turn uh, left. Right, I am driving a big ass, a big muscle car in a. My team should have updated your schedule for this summer championship. In a cross country challenge. Have fun out there. How fun is going to be um, the order of the day? I think. <laughs> Although, whenever I hear the words "have fun," it just reminds me of like the greatest opening cuts into any video game ever, which is, uh, I believe, Michael Owen's World League Soccer '99, and I'm going to attempt to. Capture the majesty of it. This is this is the entirety of the cutscene. There's no music. There's like some crazy dance music in it. Welcome to Michael Owen's World League Soccer '99. Have fun. And that's it. <laughs> that, that's literally the entire thing. 
Uh, <laughs> it is. It, it's brilliant. It's true genius. I think the only thing better than that in the football world is maybe like Wayne Rooney's Castillo del Diablo um, advert. Which is like, it just goes, they say he is a legend. But I mean, you know, you, you, you know, football, football is up from starts because they're acting, I'll we'll say. Kind of. Still, still drifting. Drifted away from the track. Break a little bit. Let's try that one more time. You know, let's let's try that jump again. Actually, let's go. Let's go. Let's go all the way back to where the mistake actually happened, which was um, me got me taking a jump sideways. I'm hitting that car. Yeah, we yeah we we can't hit it. Hit it. There we go. Oh, I almost should have tried that the first time. I suppose you I suppose you don't realise cause and consequence sometimes when you're when you're playing the game. I suppose there is, there is kind of a question about whether Rewind is good in racing games, and I would say absolutely, uh, particularly in sim racing games, because particularly if you're a relatively new player, it's hard to quite, it's hard to tell where, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's hard to get a kind of, you know, a handle on how cars will react to certain situations, and so it's nice to have a kind of, a way to you know, get through situ get through races. I like so I like in Mario Kart I have no objection with auto assists. Mostly because they're not like good, but also Oh god. Yeah. Right, well who will try this race, but if we're if we're too far behind I am I, I will probably restart it. This is part of the reason why I carved out as much time as I did. Because I expect a lot more restarts than I've had so far. Get, just get past these two. First step, and then thankfully a lot of the Wii cars are kind of packed together. But I don't think we're enough time to catch up to them now. No. My car's really not fast enough for this. I'm being outperformed by very old. Yeah, you know what? We're going to restart. Yeah, there is a Lego expansion pack. I haven't actually tried that yet. That's something I might do on stream at some point as well. But uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm talking about rewind. Well, I'm not uh, rewinding um, in racing games, I I generally think it's a good idea. Like, because it's always good for new play. But it can become a problem if it's used too much as a crutch. As like I tend to as I seem to be using it for this. Yeah, cross country is not my favourite kind of uh, race by the way. Because it's the least it, it resembles more a game like Motorstorm or Fuel. And Forza's engine isn't really designed for either of that. Yeah, like I, I might try and few cars in this, but this is not happening. You know what? Yeah, but we're about we're about to lose shit. But we're, we're, it said we said we restart, but we're, we're quitting here so we can start the race and pick a new car. Super Sport. That's probably the better car to go for. You got Rebel TRX concept. This is a car I tend to use for a lot of these things. Um... And, this will, and this will put us with a lot more trucks, so 
um, we won't have the same problem we had of being, being against very nimble, very light cars. There we go. This is more like it. Also, it won't matter as much when we inevitably bump into other cars. Like, you won't, you won't get a lot of, as much of the simulation damage. There is still that guy in the bloody classic car, though. Yeah. Well, I think of you and your classic car. Yeah, we're, yeah this, this is a much better choice. Yeah, I think the, cha I think the problem with the Challenger is that, like, auto upgrade does not take into account the fact you're driving off road. So I probably what I should have done is actually custom updated it with um, rally tires or something, which would have actually survived this. But yeah, uh, I will probably do. I know it's a bit like something about like another stream, but I'll uh, make. Um, you know, I'm I probably not going to have streams in between this, but um, I'm probably going to do another Forza stream uh, next week as well. Um, Sugar, sugar, sugar. Because we are, you know, I actually quite enjoyed doing this. And I didn't show myself as much as I thought I might, and that's all in good time. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. We made it. So we're on. We're on. We've been. Yeah. Yeah, we went from high school to expert and then expert to pro. We may I don't think we're gonna go up to unbeatable tonight, but we um, but I'll probably be on back, I'll probably be on unbeatable night next week. Although we may have to go down the difficulty for certain challenges. Oh no, 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 no Range Rover, no Range Rover, no Range Rover! No Range Rover. <laughs> Sorry, I got into it there. And this is the most appropriate music to uh, to moonwalk to. If only because I know I can win with it. I probably should have ch chosen like an S uh, a 4x4 uh, off-road or something. Because uh, I, I mean I do have a cane which is a lot of these places so it's quite quick. At the roundabout, take the second exit. I tend to like having cars that are relatively low spec and then putting them and then kind of getting them to the right uh, the speed I require. Just because um, the more you tune a car yourself, the more it's kind of geared to be quick the way you want it to be quick. You know, the more, you know, and you know, obviously the, the more you tune it, the kind of, the more, you know, the better it is. Really. Well, the better it is for um, the kind of stuff you want to do. with a romantic weekend getaway. And I found this lovely cottage by the seaside. Which I understand has recently been purchased by a Horizon Festival driver. So, whoever you are, could you help me without spoiling the surprise for her? Oh, don't worry about this. She never listens to my show anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that. I feel targeted by that one. <laughs> she never listens anyway. I mean, to be honest, this stream's a work in progress, so I'm, I'm not surprised that you'll know what to watch. I, I would be surprised if people did watch. Um, and I'll, you know... I think, I think the more I kind of do these streams, the more I'm going to kind of experiment with, um, you know... I'm going to experiment with overlays, I'm going to experiment with um, design. I'll, I'll experiment in a lot of ways to kind of get them looking the way I want them. Get out of the way on Bam's toes. Okay, fine, I won't tip a ramp. Killjoy. Although, as a kind of serious note, the ramp, unlike a lot of racing games, which tend to 
emphasize um, aerial shortcut. This game, if you generally a lot of jumps are actually slower because obviously you have to ground you have less traction. Which does make a lot of sense. Out the way! <laughs> Get out the way, Zemetek! Zemetek. <laughs> okay, this is getting ridiculous. Right. Yeah, so, so that, there's an example of what, uh, of why you shouldn't do that. Uh, I'm not going to win this one though. Yeah, we'll restart. I think I can win, I just got stuck behind a car, which sometimes happens. Bad, 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 bad mojo. I figured he wouldn't let me get away with that. Sometimes you can get away with just being close enough to um, a checkpoint, but it's kind of hit and miss what counts. Obviously, touching it counts, but kind of. You can actually be a little bit away and it will sometimes count, but other times, like. That, like, for example, that didn't. And I'm sure we did that as an example and not just because of uh, ineptitude. No. Bad, 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 bad. bad. Right, we're. OPSX. Getting closer at least. Try to and not mess up. I said let's not mess up. Yeah. Are at least close enough to the leaders that could probably make a make a good run for it in uh, the last lap. Maybe we'll see. survivors to I don't know to win this one well I, I mean I can I know I can win it just I mean I don't know if I can win it on this try even if I do rewind a lot uh, this. Is that one? one more attempt uh, I might actually if I don't get it this time I might go back to the challenger because I think the challenger would be much better suited to this track then um, the last one. And then I'll go back to the rabbit for the other one because I know for a fact it's on mountains, so uh, I believe that also has big drops and there is a kind of a bit of a breaking thing with this game where on simulation damage mode um, there are very few cars that can actually there are very few cars that can actually survive certain tracks because they're so because they're so because um, they have such big drops. Quite close at least this time. Straight and narrow. It's not really narrow. We're on the straight and wide. Oh, oh, oh! 
Maybe. No, what are you doing? Bollock. Lot two. Fiddly do. Yeah, don't ram me. I mean, literally, the clue's in the name. My car's called a ram. Yeah, you can't really tell because of my rather erratic camera angles, but. I got, I got this. I got this. I also have one more lap, but. I, I also have this. No, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the ramp for the next race. Oh, uh, 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 yes. I shouldn't have really corrected there. I, didn't, oh. I think I could have got away with not correcting. It would have been a little, little quicker, but I'm with, I'm with far enough ahead. Not far enough ahead to win if I did the jump, but far enough ahead. To win anyway. <laughs> ah, tremendous. Ah. So let's see what game will spin. Plymouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, some car type. I tend to like. I tend to like designs. Even if I'm not that big a fan of them, but you know, it's generally just to be nice. 200 meters, turn left. Certain cars I think have better, like more competitive like design races than others. Um, but generally I've found a lot of uh, Japanese sports cars that have very, a lot of very good designs. Uh, any car with a recognisable livery generally tends to do, so like uh, 80s classic right. rally cars tend to have a lot of uh, designs. Um, muscle cars tend to have a lot of designs as well. Um, so. It sometimes can be difficult to get noticed, but if you, if you design to go or if you with like groups of help you out, then, at your destination. You know. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're just sitting down with Alex Strachan from Horizon. All right, Don. So this is Timeless FM, eh? Classy. Uh, it's rather a step up from the community station back home. Uh, speaking of which, upgrade heroes. Ah. Oh yeah, Upgrade oh, Heroes. Upgrade oh, Heroes was a story mode. That was actually quite a good one. Uh, quite fun, like you had to fit you basically you, you got cars and you took them to a workstation and then kind of upgrade you, you kind of made them really you kind of upgraded them really good and then you raced them back without taking too much damage. Um what and in this game if you do a story mode you get money every day, um, you know, relatively it's kind of a passive thing. Uh, so that's what all the messages were, other than the gifted VIP thing, which is the only one that really mattered to me. So you get like, generally between 13 and 16,000 uh, credits, which is yeah, enough to buy a, a relatively common car. But, you know, like, the cars go up to like, I think 20 million, if you want some of the, the rare ones. But if you could go to auction, because there's certain cars which are like, only if only available in season mode, or only available as uh, like pre-order bonuses and stuff like that. And uh, sometimes you actually need some of those cards for, season, for other season mode challenges, so they'll tend to fetch very expensive prices. But I, I haven't had to buy an auction card for a while, actually. And I think generally, if you you, you, know, you can kind of try your luck with um, that could have gone better. But you can try your luck with wheel spin because a lot of those cards will still be in wheel spin. I think other than maybe like a pre-order bonus card, but even then, like you'll have a, another card to work for the challenge. So, uh, so you're never true out of this game. I think is quite generous for like the lot of stuff. Like but I suppose this comes with the caveat that I did buy a lot of the DLC, and some of the DLC does kind of help reduce a lot of the grindy aspect of it, where you're kind of getting money. Uh, like so, like you've seen, like I get a VIP bonus, which is one of the DLC packs, which basically just doubles your like your in-game currency. Thankfully, there is only in-game currency. Like there's no, you can't. Oh, seriously, 
there's no currency you um, you don't get currency for for example for you don't yeah what am I trying to say you don't you can't buy with real money in game current currency thankfully so it could be worse for that right so yeah as you can see th that's this is one of the tracks that's a bit iffy when you have simulation damage because so off because um, I've now dam I've now dam got a damaged engine so I actually. Yeah, I actually can't defend myself, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna rewind a bit, see if we can actually save ourselves. This is this is this is a thought experiment and a half. Can we save ourselves from our own errors? No. How are you? Sir? I guess we could try for the water, but... This is something that's very annoying. There we go. I, I think we got away with it that time, but I don't quite know how. Don't just say, like, the, en the, the AI cards do not take uh, damage. Which is also why it's turned off a multiplier. Because... Um, switch And it also means that certain tracks, ones with drops even higher than that, are basically unraceable unless you're in, I think, I think, uh, my apologies, um, they're, un they're basically unplayable unless you have, um, maybe the Warthog will get, up, get away with it, which yeah, is the, is the Warthog from Halo, um, and I think he's, I think he's indestructible, or he's close to indestructible, but it's not very fast, that's kind of its, um, its counterbalance, I think it, like, I think it tops out at like 85 miles an hour or something, which I suppose is fast for what it is. Right, so we got the Hummer. Let's go this one. Ooh, this is a speed trap on Rally. We, I mean, we could try it with this. Uh, we need to get 100, oh, 168 miles an hour. Yeah, no chance. Oh, wait, no, no, that's my record. Uh, 140 miles an hour. Uh, we are going to go back and we're going to get. And Mrs. We're going to Thompson's dig into some of my fantastic uh, mega machines. Here. Which I, I own really the speed for these kind of speed challenges. The castle, of course. But why am I being told to be... Go into my X class stuff. So X class are a very rare breed. They're like beyond. They're, they're basically they're all 999 points, and some of them are insanely fast. So this is like one of my favorite cars. This is the, this is the Hoonigan RS 200. <coughs> Sorry, it is super 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 quick. Super quick, super agile. Technically, it's a road car rather than a uh, rally car, but. It, as you can see, compare and contrast this to the RAM we had, or especially the Talbot Sunbeam we had before, like... This is kind of what the, the game's really designed for, is these very fast cars. 200 meters. Turn left. Turn left. In 400 meters, turn right. Right. Um, kind of want to, usually I wouldn't mind going until the crow flies, but in this case you kind of want to have the best run of it uh, for speed traps. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Oh yeah, this is technically around by no run off power. In 200 meters, turn right. Turn right. Okay, let's, meters, let's punch it, Chewy. Be a lot quicker than this. You need to be quicker than this. One fifty. Oh yeah. Okay, that's You've fine. Your it's fine to be as quick as that. So okay. So seasonal objective. Okay. Let's get the next one. Uh... Oh good. It's another. Um... We could probably still do it in this actually. Uh... Turn around when it is safe to do so. Right, right, right. Uh, we can get it, we can get it. Uh, 
Oh, this, this, this is great. I, I actually quite like it. The game is really good when you kind of like, you're pushing the cars to the edge and things like that. Although, obviously, I'm not really... <laughs> it, it, it kind of, you know... It feels like I'm kind of setting myself up for a Top Gear style joke. They're like, that's what happens when you put a car, push a car to the ragged edge, which you haven't done. It, it, it probably helps that I've got, I've got like the, the, this orchestral Halo music also playing. Yeah, I, I've, I've got the Master Chief box. I'm gonna have to give back. I'm gonna give those games another try because I kind of I'm, I, I kind of have a mix of loving them and hating them. Like I I play through three. I play through one. I uh, got halfway through two, and then I kind of then I started playing three to the next box, the 360 at that point. Uh, and yeah, I I like them in the same time I don't. I don't know, and I don't know whether that's a case of I like uh, those games are fundamentally good, but the the games that kind of came from them aren't like the supposed Halo killers, or whether it's just a case of um, overhyped because those games to me like people venerated over those games when I was um, when I got the 360. They worship them. They I, I, I knew wait. I knew way too many people when I played, um, oh, oh, careful, 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 um, I knew way too many people in college who played a lot of Halo 3. Lake Lodge just sold is making me homesick for Byron Bay back home, ladies and gentlemen, except we looked out on the ocean, not a lake, and we had surfers on the water instead of sailboats. Well, that could have gone better. Household had significantly fewer floors and rooms, but I'm still allowed to be homesick as my home. Some music will help. I don't think this is even the speed zone, this is just a separate speed zone we're trying to do. You have arrived at your destination. No, we haven't. That I think that might be a bit of a glitch, like um like we'll say you arrived at your destination. Sometimes it does a really annoying thing where if you rewind when you're on a, um, a drift zone, it, it's usually a speed zone, I think drift zones also happen. It actually gets rid, and, and then you fail the speed zone, it actually gets rid of your uh, GPS routes, you have to try again. Which is a little bit annoying. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah. yeah, we are miles away from Earth 2 standing there, but we're not really trying to get a lot of drift stuff. I think we may have a little bit of damage, but I'm hoping that won't affect the run. In 400 I'm hoping. Meters, turn right. Oh, shit. We will soon find out, though, won't we? Turn right. Oh, I think I know. Oh, I think I should know. Well, I, of course, I'm, I've done all the speed moves, so I never should know. So. I remember this one being a bit of a pain, so... Bear with me, this may take a few attempts. And this may take actually me going back to get repairs. I can't remember exactly what the, uh, the seasonal objective is. So we might have it. 105, 108, 109, 110. Turn around when it is safe to do so. There we go, we got it. That's fantastic. Right, so final one. Uh, Okay, and there we go, we've got our, uh, our last season bonuses, 50% uh, complete. Um, wait, did we only get a wheel spin? Oh, I was going to say, like, sure we did just get a wheel spin. Um, yeah, so, yeah, if you do seasonal objectives, and there's like a there's like a secret season in a series, and this is the start of like, I don't know what series this is. Um, series twenty two. because yeah, that was the last one. Oh yeah, and we've got the Rivals thing. We'll do we'll do that one. I think that'll be the last thing we do is uh, Rivals. Uh, and we'll do Playground Games another day, probably. So let's get this one anyway. Uh, we are miles away from it, so we'll probably... We'll fast travel somewhere closer. So that's where it is. The best place to... Probably here, actually. Yeah, let's 
going to have to respin before we do that. So, I'm going to. Oh, I didn't know we had that one. We'll get the last super wheel spin, then we'll do all three at once, I think. Uh, and that, and then we'll do, and then we'll do random, and we'll probably, that'll probably get to the screen. Yeah, we'll have a good run of it. Steady, steady. 400 meters. Turn left. Turn left. Ah! 200 meters. Turn the master sharp of overshots. Ah, oh, there he is. There's one. Turn sharp left. Back on terra firm and hopefully we'll have a bit of a better run. Yeah, we're not even at the danger zone, so the danger sign yet. <laughs> danger zone. Maybe it's the maybe it's the whole um, top one thing. The the Kenny logins. Yo, yo, know, because of course we are round up our engines, listening to them howl and go. Way right. to the danger zone. Gonna take you right into the danger zone. Turn sharp. Oh, I think. Oh, I think I missed. Oh, this one's weird. This one. Oh. Four hundred meters. Turn sharp right. I must have accidentally hit the wrong thing because it's saying that that was the destination, it's not. Turn sharp right. So, yeah. We gotta go, yeah, because we gotta go this way up to get to the uh, the route. Uh, uh, really cross country would have been better than the, uh, a maybe a ridge lane Baja, uh, Baja thing or or trail cap would have been better. You have arrived at your destination. Uh, it's not gonna be enough of Yeah, I didn't think so. So let's let's head back. I kind of I kind of messed up the um, the the run a bit. Yeah. So. That, well, that's not gonna do it. We might actually fail this one. Oh that oh that made oh that was enough. Oh, well, fantastic. Let's get some super wheel spins. Oh, just between super wheel spins and regular wheel spins, you get three spins of the wheel. Reventon, car. Oh, I don't actually have it as well. That's fantastic. Twenty three GTI. Let's see, have that one. MX five thirteen. Oh, I do have it. Had a sequid flat cap, um, which we might. All right. So final, final thing before we go. Let's have one run of um, of this. We're in a four Puma. Uh, we got, basically we've got a hot lap, and you can challenge. And you can get better and better. I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna do a fight, a few laps. I might do five laps, and then we'll we'll see. What, and then my best lap, I kind of stick with. You get points with participating anyway. Um, I think you get more points if you are higher up on the board. Oh, this is this this is the this is appropriate music. <laughs> We're almost accelerating. Yeah, you kind of need more than one lap just because you need to um, you actually build some acceleration at the start of the lap. Oh, that's probably where Queen got it from. 
from um, from from the middle of innuendo. You can't be anything you want to be. Just turn yourself into anything you think that you could ever be. Be free with your temple. Be free. Be free. Surrender your ego. Be free. Be free to yourself. That that bit. We need to continue that bit. So yeah, we will we'll give it five laps. We want an actual non-flight lap as well. We should get an actual non-flight lap this time. I mean, the ideal, ideally, I want, I want one under a minute, but I don't think that's going to be possible. I don't, I don't think I'm going to find six seconds somehow. I would be very impressed if I did. Let's put it that way. But we'll try that. My realistic target is one of three. My unrealistic target is one dead. Or maybe 59, like nine or something. Six, seven, eight, nine, one. One of one? Okay. I take it all back. Maybe, maybe, maybe a minute is possible. Well, I mean, obviously, it's possible for good drivers. But I mean, a minute is possible for me. Oh, let's you know what? Let's get, let's, let's get to it. Oh, it's tempestuous. Oh, don't touch. Oh. Um. Did somehow they didn't somehow they didn't call me on that? So, like usually, usually they call you for tap, tapping the wall. It's uh, the old Forza rules, which is um, if you rewind or if you hit anything, then your lap doesn't count for lap records. Although you don't usually get penalised on the other way. This is not going to be as good as the last lap. We'll, we'll see. Slightly, slightly later than I was. But given, but given that I kind of messed up that other corner, I'm not actually that upset. That's one, one minute. I, I think one minute is in me. Maybe not 59, but one minute I think is definitely doable. I can, I can find like three tenths of a second in this lap. So I'll do, I'll do this one, then I'll do one more, and then I'll be our five. And I'm going to really, really try for the fifth lap, because I really want to get one, 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 oh, one dead. One minute dead. Yes. Okay, here we go. This is feeling quick. That, that felt good. That felt very quick. 57, 58. 50, oh my god, 59! We did it! I mean, there's going to be someone who's clearly beat that time, but... Oh my god. I, I achieved! I don't, know what, I don't know what a realistic target is now. I don't think I'm going to get 58. That's very much not doable. But I'm, I might be able to beat this time. If we can continue this aggression. You get it. A little hooked a little bit there, but no. Yeah, I think we can call that done. Finish the event. But yes, ten that's that's pretty good. I kinda wanna see Okay, so 59635. 
I kind of want to see how high up my score was. Because I think, cause I think there are leaderboards for the, for, for the rivals' maps. Maps. Map, rivals' races. I need to stop using um, other video game terminology for racing stuff. Okay, that will, I'm probably going to leave it there for now. That was that was a lot of fun, actually. I will definitely be doing this next uh, next week, I think. Uh, if you did watch, thank you very much for watching. I really like. I really had fun then. Uh, take care, guys.